You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 991. Today's Devo is called One Word Person. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Happy Monday, everyone. It is Stephanie here with my sister, Rochelle. Yes, hello, everybody. We have an incredible uh, day ahead of us. Rochelle's going to share something beautiful with us. But before she does, we want to say, number one, that we are eight episodes away from our 1,000th episode. That's amazing. It is incredible. First of all, we want to honor Allison again. She has put in so much work to get us to this place. She did the 900 episodes. Yeah, all on her own. All on her own. And it's incredible what she was able to achieve. And we feel honored to be able to finish that for her. And again, we're receiving your messages. We love connecting with all of you. We we see your prayer requests. We're praying over them. So continue to connect with us. We love it. But Rochelle, are you ready to give us your devotional today? Yes, let's do it. Take it away. So this uh, week, I want to keep it within the theme of faithfulness because um, just talking about the 1,000th episode, it took a lot of faithfulness in Allison's part to do this for many years. And then faithfulness to say, I don't want to just stop. Let me find a solution for all my listeners. And now we're here doing this today. And now it's on us to stay faithful to the podcast to do this. So um, we'll do that as a theme. And the Bible verse is Matthew 5, 16 through 17. And it's the verse that says, let your light shine. And I love this because when we read this verse, sometimes it's kind of hard to say, well, what's my light? What are the things that we could let out? And how does this tie into faithfulness? Well, there is many things that God has put inside of us that sometimes we don't want anybody to see. Or there's things that are our gifts or just qualities of us that we have that we don't like to use because we either are a little afraid to or we don't know how to. And we need to stay faithful in that, that we need to let our light shine. It's kind of like we need to let it loose. We need to let those things that God has put inside of us flow and be used. Just like this podcast, when she started it, she let that in her flow. Mm -hmm. And now we are here today and we get to bless many because of that. And so with one word of person, I want to leave uh, today's podcast and I want to ask this question to all of you and it's for you to answer. And that is, what would be the one word to describe the kind of person you want to be today? Mm. You are the only one that can answer that question. And when you answer that, just let that flow. If you want to be fun today, then be fun today. Let that flow. If you want to be happy, be happy today and just let that flow. And if you just want to be consistent, be consistent. Whatever it is that you want to be, you can do it. That's really good, Rochelle. And I could say that you are an example of that as well. You come in, I would say your word is always just steady Eddie. <laughs> you are the same person every day. And that alone is an inspiration to somebody who may deal with ups and downs and mood swings or hormones or just a bad situation at yeah. home. To hear this from somebody who knows how to remain steady no matter the situation, it's an inspiration. Oh, thank you, Steph. So that's awesome. Can you pray for us? Yes, let's do it. Dear Father God, thank you so much for the kind of person that you are. We get to describe you in many, many words, but today we just want to have at least one quality of who you are. Whatever that is, Lord, just pour it into us and just show us how we can be happy, how we can be consistent, how we could just be the person that we want to be. And let us be confident that we can be that person because you have given us everything we need to be that person. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow. We pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.